Are we grooming our dogs to be indoor dogs? I, this comes up all the time. I hear people say, well, my dog hates being outside. It's just, that's, that's like kids not wanting to play outside. I, I just don't think that that's really what's going on. I think we've conditioned our dogs to be indoors. Okay, so there's some, some, some climate issues that I see for sure. Like my dogs have very thin coats and I'm in Texas. This is a February day here, uh, very warm outside. I'm gonna show you some, you know, my pup and a cockadoodle, cockad I don't know, whatever my wife's got, a mix with a poodle outdoors in the yard, chewing on sticks, loving life. Now, the trick is you can't give the dog Stockholm Syndrome. If we groom our dogs to be indoor dogs, they're not gonna be comfortable outdoors. And I know we think that's cute and fun and all that. And then I see these guys post these huskies laying out in the snow by choice. And then I see people come in that are deranged saying, oh, that's abuse. You're abusing that dog. It's like, no, the dog is out there by choice because it's earth. It's the element that the dog is genetically designed to be in. Okay, so I think we need to be careful distorting and grooming our dogs to be toys. Where are they? They're probably up on the porch now. Oh no, there they are, right there. See those two dogs right there? That's one of my lacy dogs right there. That's Cherry. Just out there romping in the backyard. The gate's wide open. See the gate's wide open. When my wife first got that little cockadoodle, it, you know, the cockadoodle do there, that little curly, it's got hair, not fur, and all this stuff, and I'm gonna make it a stuffed animal. Well, I think that's great for my wife to have a love object making a stuffed animal we also have to recognize that these animals have you know hearts and minds and an attachment to earth so we need to let them enjoy that now we have to be careful there's coyotes running back here and i have a big dog here and we you know we're, we're watching this you have to keep them safe and these you know do dogs are minis like this one is a mini which is very small could be eaten very quickly by a coyote uh, so we have to keep an eye on that. But anyway, Cherry's going to be bigger soon. And so we keep the coyotes at bay. But anyway, my point is, on nice days, they're all the way out there. There's a green belt. There's a creek. I want to, you can see them just across from another home on a creek. There's a green belt. The coyotes run here, so safety's an issue. Hawks up above, safety's an issue. So I'm not saying be unsafe. Uh, but you really need to look at your environment. Again, I, I go back to these people posting these huskies laying in the snow. More power to them. They live up north where a foot of snow comes down and the dog is literally wanting to be in that snow. Now they can come up to the house and hang out on the deck. So part of it, step one, is yeah, they want to be with me, but don't confuse that with needing to be in the house. So when I go in the house, the first thing I have to shut down is that you don't just come into the house with me. So let me see if I can get this. So the door's open, and they've already learned. Like, no, but just here's your foot. You just have to, and then, and then just have to get them comfortable out there. Now, I've already worked with them a little bit. I use a squirt bottle once they jump on the window. Now I'm tantalizing them here, but we want to get out of sight and then let them forget about me and go back to playing in the yard. If you never take them through that step, they're going to develop Stockholm Syndrome, thinking that they have to be captivated inside the house at all times, and that's the place to be. The thing with dogs is they're very persistent. They, um, when you use the term dogging something, you, it means you're on and on and on. That's how dogs hunt. They chase animals until they expire. They, they can go, go, go. So with a dog, you have to teach it, no, this is not where you want to go. It's not, you want, you don't want to spend all of your energy trying to get into this house. And, and people say they develop a, like a nervousness or a, uh, what do they call it? A, uh, where you got to be with someone and stuff like that. Well, yeah, that, that will develop if you foster that with dogs. I found when they're in a pattern, we got to have something, we got to have something. You have to break that pattern and then the dog can relax. It's good for you and it's good for the dog. It's not abusive to put the dog outside here. Literally, and my wife told me last night, she said, oh, it's kind of cold. Well, no, it got to probably 50 last night, which I'm sure 45 is fine for most any dog. We want these dogs to be comfortable out here. What do you think, Cherry? You like the yard? This dog loves the yard. And this dog's learning too.